Just like Jodie Foster's character in the movie Contact, scientists have come across a mysterious signal from a galaxy far, far away. In a study published on Wednesday, the journal Nature said that they've detected a very unusual radio burst. It has a pattern that's similar to a heartbeat. And for now, the exact location and cause of that burst is unknown. NASA warns that an object in space has started sending Earth radio messages. NASA has been searching for signs of life outside Earth for almost 50 years. But the terrifying question is, what happens when they do find it? Reports from within the organization found that scientists stumbled upon a distant object in space and it is transmitting radio signals directly to Earth. And NASA confirmed these findings. But what does this actually mean? Are we close to coming into contact with extraterrestrial life? Join us as we take a look at the latest discoveries and explore who is behind these cryptic radio signals. Are we receiving extraterrestrial radio messages? NASA has been working behind the scenes to study a mysterious space object and decode its radio message. Scientists speculate it might be a message from intelligent life far beyond our reach. However, there's a chance it's not extraterrestrial, but something else entirely. With its celestial phenomena, the universe emits magnetic or radio waves, and Earth might have picked up just a fraction of these waves, though recent stronger signals have put NASA on high alert. The observable universe spans a mind-boggling 93 billion light-years, but this is just what we have theorized. The greater universe remains a mystery. Exploring space is driven by the desire to find extraterrestrial life, a notion that's both fascinating and frightening. Despite all evidence showing that we're alone, the question remains, if there are other planets like us out there, why haven't we communicated with them yet? Space agencies like NASA have harnessed advanced tools to uncover potential signs of life beyond Earth. These tools, including specialized telescopes and cutting-edge alert systems, can look into the mysteries of distant galaxies, expanding our understanding of the universe. Using these tools, scientists managed to find radio signals coming from a galaxy almost a staggering 9 billion light-years away. The strength of these signals, recorded for the first time at such a distance, marked a huge breakthrough. NASA astronomers found this discovery crucial for deciphering the unexplainable properties of dark energy and matter, predominant elements constituting about 80% of the observable universe. The radio signal in question was captured by NASA's highly sensitive giant meter wave radio telescope in India, showing its ability to detect faint signals from faraway galaxies. Initial excitement arose when scientists, using this technology, detected radio waves coming from known sources like stars or black holes. Scientists have been leaning towards considering the extraterrestrial origins of the radio signal. Later investigations, however, revealed that a colossal black hole at the heart of the distant galaxy was the culprit behind the strong radio wave. This black hole's immense size generated lots of radiation, which was detectable by the giant meter wave radio telescope. While the signal doesn't confirm extraterrestrial life, NASA recognizes its significant contribution to the mounting evidence hinting at the possibility that we might not be alone in the vast universe. Will we find life on Proxima Centauri? Researchers uncovered the peculiar radio emission and found that it was coming from Proxima Centauri. The distinctive techno-signature of this signal, which is thought to be incompatible with natural origins, has raised alarms around the world. Ongoing efforts are looking to see whether an extraterrestrial entity is the source, given that the signal is most likely produced unnaturally. Years of constant star system monitoring by NASA are now showing results as the investigation into these mysterious radio messages progresses. However, the signal's purpose is still not known. Some suggest a message of peace from advanced extraterrestrial neighbors, while others believe that it might be a warning about a catastrophe. Another theory proposes the signal might contain blueprints for revolutionary technology shared by our cosmic neighbors. But the focus right now is on the signal's origin. Proxima Centauri is still largely unexplored and unmonitored, and includes the rocky, potentially habitable Proxima b. The proximity of this advanced radio signal to a star system with life-supporting potential fuels the anticipation of finally discovering extraterrestrial life. Another rumor within NASA is that there have been concerns about the possibility of the radio messages being a trap set by a hostile extraterrestrial civilization. 
the fear of invasion has been a popular theory in modern culture, with suspicions of the signal carrying harmful technology. A dedicated team led by scientist Andrew Siemian from the University of California has been working for months to study the peculiar signal. The signal showed distinctive properties that set it apart from other radio waves. Most notably, it features an unusually low signal-to-noise ratio, making it much more challenging to detect. What made people more curious was its remarkably narrow radio spectrum band, characteristics inconsistent with signals emanating from human-made satellites or spacecraft. Adding to the complexity, the signal defied conventional astronomical assessments and further revelations unfolded as scientists probed the signal's properties. Scientists recorded high polarization, indicating a specific direction in the vibration of the electric field, which is definitely not a common trait you see for natural radio waves. The signal's periodicity, repeating every 1635 days, hinted at an orbiting object with a highly eccentric orbit. Delving deeper into the signal's data, the researchers found fluctuations in intensity marked by irregular bursts of heightened activity. This unpredictability fueled speculation about potential interference from artificial objects like satellites or spacecraft. Yet, the unique signal properties, including the narrow spectrum band, rendered the likelihood of human-made technology highly improbable. The mystery surrounding this radio message has left scientists with more questions than answers. Pennsylvania State University's astronomer, Jason Wright, was a staunch advocate for a discovery that has stirred considerable excitement within the scientific community. His remarks have shed light on the fact that the unearthing of this intricate radio signal was no small feat of luck. Scientists and astronomers have invested a lot of time in collecting data from Proxima Centauri, the nearest red dwarf star to our sun, spanning several years. Starting in April 2019, a collaboration between scientists tried to find signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. Armed with the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, their focus shifted towards Proxima Centauri, meticulously observing any indication of flares. The primary objective was to unravel the impact of these flares from the red dwarf Proxima Centauri on the planets in the system, with special attention to Proxima b. The radio signals 2016 was when scientists found Proxima b, a planet 1.2 times larger than Earth, orbiting Proxima Centauri every 11 days. While collecting signals, they stumbled upon something unlike anything they had ever seen before. Its origin from beyond Earth sparked speculation about extraterrestrial life due to its complexity. Despite the excitement, scientists have been cautiously decoding the message in case it contains dangerous material. They recognize various potential explanations for the signal. Researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy and other organizations joined the analysis so a lack of experienced staff won't be slowing down the process. The main challenge lies in how faint the signal is, detected by a single antenna in Australia's Parkes Radio Telescope. Its solitary detection makes pinpointing the exact origin tricky. To grasp its origin, scientists have been using interferometry, combining data from multiple telescopes for a detailed image. Deep within the secrets of the Proxima Centauri system lies another mystery, a secret second planet. Discovered in 2019, Proxima C dwarfs its celestial sibling, Proxima B, residing in a realm farther from Proxima Centauri than any planet ventures from our Sun. Scientists delve into the mysteries of Proxima C, peering into its cosmic narrative, seeking clues to its potential support for life. The lingering question is that, can life find a home on Proxima C? This question holds the key to unraveling the suspense concealed in a cryptic radio signal coming from the system's depths. Yet, between this cosmic riddle, a revelation around the possible existence of extraterrestrial life has rekindled fascination with a notion many thought was impossible, interstellar travel. Although Earth's technology falls short of traveling between stars, the potential extraterrestrial signal prompts a daring notion, sending our own message to Proxima Centauri. This cosmic conversation isn't that simple, though. It actually causes a lot of ethical problems. Researchers are struggling with the decision to transmit a message. Because you never know what's waiting for us out there in the vast expanse of space, caution prevails, for we should tread lightly, hesitating to extend an inadvertent invitation to potentially hostile beings. Without any advanced weaponry or defense systems to protect ourselves from an alien invasion, 
scientists have decided to navigate the cosmic tapestry largely on our own. The fate of humanity hangs in the balance, as the mysteries of Proxima Centauri call us toward the uncharted realms of the universe. Sophia Shake, a skilled scientist from Pennsylvania State University, has been leading the Breakthrough Listen project in studying the peculiar signal. For years, she poured over data from radio telescopes, meticulously filtering through background noise to detect the faintest signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. Before designating the signal as Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1, the team tested it to eliminate any terrestrial interference. Sophia and her colleagues knew that further investigation was essential to confirm the signal's cosmic origin, ensuring it wasn't a mere product of earthbound experimentation interfering with their instruments. To confirm their findings, Sophia and her team returned to the telescope, engaging in a week-long sky scan using a technique called nodding. This involves pointing the telescope at a specific target and diverting attention elsewhere in the sky for a comparable duration. The outcome of this extensive test pointed conclusively to the extraterrestrial nature of the breakthrough listen signal. Delving deeper into their analysis, the team uncovered a startling new revelation. The signal wasn't a singular occurrence. Instead, it was showing a recurring pattern of radio waves coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri with surprising regularity. This consistency suggested a stable source, dispelling any notion of randomness or interference. Adding to the mystery, the signal lacked modulation or information-bearing nuances. It was more than a simple burst of radio waves. It revealed a complex array of frequencies defying natural explanation. The signal came in bursts, but then with prolonged periods of silence. A departure from the continuous signals observed in waves originating from natural sources. The paradox has left scientists captivated by the confusing nature of the Proxima Centauri signal. When scientists pieced together all their observations, they stumbled upon intriguing possibilities related to extraterrestrial life. The idea buzzing in their minds was that the signal might be a glimpse of an alien civilization using some super-advanced technology, stuff way beyond our current human grasp, as the signal's code remains a mystery. Yuri Milner, the billionaire backing Project Breakthrough, found himself captivated by the potential presented by BLC-1. Unlike past false alarms, Yuri was convinced this was the real deal. He urged his team to explore every possible avenue to crack the codes embedded in the enigmatic signal. Months of tireless analysis followed, ensuring the signal was free from anything linking it to natural or earthly sources. The team meticulously sifted through heaps of data, keeping an eye out for patterns or connections that could offer an explanation. The notion even crossed their minds that the signal might be a result of some unknown cosmic phenomenon, perhaps a form of mysterious cosmic radiation. The breakthrough team holds on to the possibility that a natural explanation exists for this puzzling radio message. They are on a mission to eliminate every potential natural cause before firmly declaring the signal as evidence of extraterrestrial life. No one wants to raise a hopes only to have them dash it by discovering it was another false alarm. Despite the uncertainty surrounding this odd radio message, its origin and purpose still a riddle. BLC-1 stands out as one of the most captivating signals ever detected in space research. What's your take on this strange signal from outer space? Do you believe it signals the attempts of advanced life forms to make contact? What is the exact reason that we've been given this broadcast? Let us know in the comments below and leave a like for more.